Hello Aquarius, I hope that you are all doing well. We are here with a timeless reading. Before we get started, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated, and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with the highest good. What I'm seeing is that it looks like you have your eye on something that you won, and you may be... You may be doing something about that at this point. Like, you could be checking something out and be like, I really want to buy, like, this new type of camera and be, like, researching it. I'm seeing stuff like that. So there are things associated with what you want that... I'm seeing you like gathering information about it or like looking things up or this can be researching or like talking to other people that own that camera, you know, like that sort of thing. Maybe feeling like a spark of creativity as well. Like this kind of feels like getting back in touch with your senses and maybe it was something that you felt you had gotten away from and now there's more of a connecting back with how you're feeling and paying attention to like even the tiniest of signals. For some of you, this has to do with like how you're bringing yourself into a collaboration, how you're showing up and wanting like your feelings to count within this. I'm seeing something about like somebody communicating with another person about how they feel but it looks like the person that's on the receiving end of this like may not have responded to this message yet and is just sort of reviewing this. They may be somebody that's a bit more quiet. I don't know if that's in general or just with you or that's like where they are right now but I'm getting like This is an interesting dynamic that I'm seeing showing up. This is like either like you don't know this person that well or like they don't know you that well or this would be sort of about like a new way that one is feeling or like a new creative idea. It's something that's starting off in like baby form and I'm seeing that being brought to another person but it's it's not something where there's a lot of maybe experience with this or this may not be like a relationship that's been going on for a long time it's more so like these things that are just starting to come up or this idea that is just beginning to bloom and that being like transferred over like communicated with another person but i'm seeing again like this person on the receiving end of it if there's another person involved they may it's like they're looking it over and they're reading it like they read the message but i'm not seeing they necessarily responded yet at least where we are right here so if this person did respond when they first got it, you may have like not known what they were going to say or what they were thinking, or maybe they didn't indicate that they got the message and they took time to think about it. If this is just going on between you and yourself, you may have feelings that are popping up that you feel like are, are signaling messages to you that now you're at the point of reviewing. Like when that feeling comes up, what does that mean to me? And like, what is my body telling me? What are my emotions telling me? Like, what is that indicating for me? So you may be doing this sort of like self-analysis on, on you, on yourself having to do with like your feelings and what they are communicating to you. And you can be doing this and communicating with another person as well. Seeing someone doesn't want things to get out of hand here, and that may be why they haven't responded. They may think that this would be opening up a door that they're like really asking whether or not they want to open that. Because it seems like this person that's on the receiving end of the communication, 
I'm seeing them be very aware of like if I go forward with this like that's the type of thing that it's going to manifest like I'm seeing this person be very understanding sort of of like this predicament even it seems like they may be in There can also be a like finality to this. Actually, one be may actually be able to manifest something quickly within this situation, but it may sort of like dissipate just as quickly. And that can be why there's a, a choice here. I don't know where I want to put these yet. Hold on. Let's see if you'll go over here. Just like energetically, every time that I do a tarot reading, the spread always looks different and I just, like, I don't have a normal, um, like, template that I go with when I read the cards. I just sort of put them when I where I feel like they should go. Well, not necessarily where I feel they should go, but where energetically they are indicating they're meant to connect. Let's put you over here. Yeah. There's a choice that needs to be made about like this thing that's happening. I'm seeing like one person connect with another person and there's something about like even, I'm seeing a conversation thread between the two. But there's like a lot of stammering as well. Like somebody, Somebody's like, this is how I'm feeling and like understanding what's going on with them. But then I'm seeing it be like, well, do I send the message or do I not? Like, do I say something or do I not? And then I'm seeing like the person on the receiving end is also sort of like analyzing this as well. Because it looks like somebody made up their mind to reach out to another person. And then the person that's on the receiving end is also like very analytical of this. Like, I feel like there's a lot of air energy, even though I'm not seeing that much. It just, it feels like there's a lot of thinking about what's going on, like even before things are happening. For some reason, this is sort of a heavy situation to have the devil and the magician here. Because this is like really thinking about the consequences of what's going to manifest, like if one chooses to participate I'm hearing in this theory, so there's a choice that needs to be made. It seems like this is connected with like either what do I say or like do I send them the message? Yeah, it, it feels like a decision to like do I indicate that I'm feeling this or that I'm thinking this? That's what I'm seeing. So that's being looked at and it seems like the person that's in this state of reflection about this is understanding something that may have not been easy to look at or see or recognize or admit to. Like there's something where it could have been like, let me just look the other way here because it would be easy to fall into this. But it seems like this person is too aware to allow that to happen, wants to be aware. And so something is not going to get by them is what I'm seeing. Like ignorance is not bliss within this situation, within this scenario. The person that's on the receiving end, I'm seeing them really look into it and analyze like what the meaning of this is. And I'm actually seeing them deem this as something that would be out of alignment, it seems. Like something that wouldn't be worth it to get involved in because I'm seeing it be very... Um, there's a lot of density here. It's kind of like this. The best way for me to explain this would be like one person decides to reach out to another person. The person that's on the receiving end like reads the text or reads the message or like listens to the voicemail 
and is like I feel like that's a very karmic situation and I feel like a lot of things would be involved and maybe part of it feels attractive to me some of you it, it doesn't but for others of you it may but it's like I feel like that's a very familiar set up to me and I don't really want to get involved in that and so this person recognizes that like that's going to turn into a situation that I'm going to then be stuck in and then I'm going to have to unstick myself from that separate myself from that so it seems like they're actually like skipping over so they're seeing something and recognizing it and being like I'm not even going to like open that contract so I'm seeing them move into something else and they're like figuring out how to move forward with this in a way where they don't get stuck into something because they've already recognized a pattern of if I were to get into that that means I'm getting stuck to a karmic cycle and they don't want to be so that's why they're looking at something and seeing that's out of alignment for me The person on the receiving end I'm seeing is like very, very clear to them what they're, what they're seeing, what they're looking at. It's like very, very obvious to them. Okay. So I'm not seeing them be receptive to this or it could be you and you're not receptive to this. So whoever this is that's trying to communicate with you, I'm seeing you just like you see what it is, you recognize it and it's not something that you're going to get involved in. Yeah, on purpose, because I'm what I'm seeing is that the person that's on the receiving end of this, I am seeing them be in a spot where they know like their karmic lessons very well. And so they recognize this pattern and they ask themselves, like, do you want to get involved in this type of like karmic setup or no? The word setup keeps coming through. Do you want to get involved in this sort of thing, like a sticky situation? And this person was like, no, it's not going to be worth it to me. And so they sort of like transcend this experience entirely rather than getting involved. And um, like instead of moving like into it, they actually create like a barrier or defense towards it. So it can't um, basically so it doesn't get in the way of what they have going on because I'm seeing this person has like they have things within their life that are very, they've worked very hard for and it's very precious to them and it's not something that they want this situation to basically like mess that up for them. When I say mess that up, I mean they feel that if they got involved in this situation, they know that it, again, it would be like a sticky situation. It's not something that feels light to them is what I'm seeing. Like they deem this as being in, like an unhealthy situation that they would be entering into if they allowed this to happen, if they allowed like maybe even communication between like you and this person or this person and you. And so whoever this is that received it, they may actually not say anything at all because they've already, without even having to communicate back with the other person, this person has looked at it. I'm seeing them be in a space where they're very honest with themselves. They're very reflective and they see immediately like this is not the type of situation I want to be involved in. And rather than um, even needing to have that conversation with this other person, they just are I'm just seeing this person like very protective of themselves and very especially this person has like mastered self-protection essentially is how I'm seeing this be shown like even situations that would be this is like a very powerful energy the way that this is coming across it's like somebody who can't even be tempted or can't even be swayed when when they're in a space where they've been being honest with themselves which they are they'd rather like not even take the candy in the first place even though like you know within those first couple bites it's going to be so sweet but then it's going to give you a toothache and they're like I don't want to deal with the toothache of it and they're looking at this and being like I can't have the candy without the toothache so I don't want it at all so that's why they've like transcended this completely and that's why they're not getting involved. So for those of you that you're like dealing with an Aquarius or you message somebody and you don't know why they're not answering, that's why. And for those of you that somebody reached out to you and you're like, I don't know why I just feel like not reaching back out to them and it just it feels like a situation that 
I feel like wouldn't be healthy for me or wouldn't be in alignment for me where I am and where I'm trying to be. And I don't want it to, um, I don't want it to affect negatively, affect in an unpreferable way what I have going on for me. That's why I'm not going to, for some of you, even respond to this person. One of two things are going on here. Either you don't know this person. Let's say you're the one that received the message. Either you don't know this person well, but you recognize like a red flag and that's why you're not getting involved because I'm seeing you see something or this is somebody that you already know. It's one of these two or it's somebody that you already know that you had things go like wayward with this person and you're not trying to do that dance again. And that's why. You're like, I I did that enough. I don't want to go on the merry-go-round again with them. But I'm seeing, like, either way, you wouldn't be feeling super familiar with this person any longer. So it's either, like, somebody that you used to know. Or it's, it's somebody that you may not be familiar with this person. But you're familiar with, like, the energy that they're coming through within. And it's something that you'd rather not get involved in. I'm actually seeing this be like a, it feels like a test or like a retest. It feels like one of those moments where you told the universe, like, I'm changing. I'm not going to get involved in like this type of cycle anymore because I've learned my lesson. I don't want to do it anymore. And it's one of those moments where the universe is like, let's see if you really mean that we're going to show up and present you with this and this has now showed up and you've been presented with it and you either are going to do the same thing that you've done where you really haven't committed to the change and you're going to go back into it but I'm not seeing that really happen here or you have chosen to allow your behavior to reflect the changes that you have made and you're really done with the cycle and you're not going to experience again but it's like it's kind of like that that last test where it's like you have decided to change and it's like let's put you in the same position again and see if you really do something different this time and you are. And so I'm seeing this is going to lead to like even bigger growth and even bigger transformation for you. And that means these cycles aren't going to be returning for you again and they're not going to it's going to feel like nothing to you anymore. Like it doesn't have its claws in you the way that it did before because I'm seeing you went through something already. I'm seeing you already had an experience that was very, very challenging that you went through. And I'm seeing this not be something that you're welcoming in any longer because you know better. I'm seeing that you also, you may not feel like trusting of this energy either. And you may also feel that it's out of alignment for you and where you are. Um, you may feel that... It would conflict with your beliefs in some way or even what you give weight to. How you believe it's right for you to be like carrying on and carrying forward. So yeah, um, some of you, I feel like the people that this reading is for as far as like I'm looking for advice right now, some of you this is just validation of like yes this is what you're going through. For others of you, you may be at a spot where you're like I still haven't responded to them and I still haven't decided whether or not I'm going to respond to them and that's why this is coming out. And here you have that decision make of like do you respond to them or do you not? If you do decide to get to like answer this person and get intertwined again with them again, I'm seeing that it's going to be basically a repeat cycle of what you've already done with them or if you're recognizing the energy it's going to be one of those repeat cycles that you go through with the energy again and this is going to be something that um it will get you stuck and you'll have to unstick yourself also too there's nothing wrong with that like if you want to go back into that it just is what it is it's not right it's not wrong nothing like that it's just like do you want to do that type of exercise or do you want to opt out and you're able to opt out of this because you've already been through it before so it's all your choice what you want to do here but either way you're going to be opening a door either opening a door you've gone through before or you're going to be opening a new one and that's where we are going to leave things for now 
All right, my friends, I would like to thank everybody for tuning in. Thank you for connecting. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.